mark this day, December the 1st, 2023, in history as the day that gold reached a new all-time high in spite of what the Federal Reserve did and says. We'll talk about that and so much more as we explore... Gold did reach an all-time high today. In fact, as I look at the markets now, moments before they closed down, gold reached up to $2,076 today in the spot price. Now, I'm going to be talking about different kinds of prices in this video, and we're going to talk about the futures market as well, too. But if you enjoyed content like this where I bring you the latest in precious metals news, I hope you will consider subscribing to the channel and pressing that thumbs up button and sharing this video with others as well. It all helps as the wheel of time continues to spin round and round. We're going to take a look at the market and how the market is reacting to the events that are occurring around the world uh, economically and geopolitically because those are the drivers, folks. We're going to keep an eye on it here. First, I'm going to report to you from Kitco. The gold market is trading at at the session highs, breaking through its resistance of $2,050 an ounce, even as the Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell maintains his hawkish stance on U.S. monetary policy. Inflation has fallen sharply from last year's 40-year highs, Powell said. The, the central bank is still has some work to do to bring inflation down to its 2% target. Wednesday, the core personal consumption expenditures price index, the Federal Reserve's preferred inflation gauge, said that in the last 12 months to October, inflation rose 3.5%, which is different than the 3.2% number that the CPI reports. Over the last six months in October, core inflation ran at an annual rate of 2.5%, while the lower inflation readings over the past months are welcome that progress must continue if we are to reach our 2% objective, uh, Jerome Powell said in these prepared remarks. It would be premature to conclude with confidence that we have achieved a sufficiently restrictive stance or to speculate on when policy might ease. We are prepared to tighten policy further if it becomes appropriate to do so. Those are hawkish comments. And that, in spite of that, the prices rode solidly above that resistance at $2,050 an ounce. And uh, this is where we are at now. Uh, some analysts have said that gold could be overstretched as a March rate hike could be overly optimistic. Many economists expect that the economy will only be soft enough for the rate hike at the end of the second quarter. Of course, we also know that they're talking about the, uh, them cutting rates in May. Some market analysts have said that although the Federal Reserve may not be ready to cut interest rates anytime soon, it is clear that they are not going to raise rates as the economy starts to slow. In his remarks, Powell said that uh, the risk of under and over tightening are becoming more balanced. And now I'm going to be shifting here to an article from Market Watch that has a little different take on what's driving these, these prices up higher. And we're going to talk a little technical analysis here as the price is near a golden cross. And some of these technicals are working in silver's favor as well, too. Uh, but we're taking a look at gold here as how it's reacting. Because keep in mind, we're looking at the price, the all-time price, in nominal dollars. Uh, that is the actual unit of measure here in dollars, but a dollar nowadays is very different than a dollar was back in 2000, for instance. Um, and so we've reached an all-time high, at least earlier in the day, um, for gold, but that is only in nominal dollars. And that in inflation-adjusted dollars, gold has much more to go, more than $1,000 to reach that all-time high, in fact. Gold futures ended their Friday at their highest on record with prices on the cusp if a so-called golden cross signaling the potential for further upside in the precious metal, according to Market Watch. Gold prices surged as the market reacted to the escalating tensions in the Middle East. The ceasefire is done today here on this 1st of December. Uh, it was broke, broke by uh, Hamas in Jerusalem, and so uh, the war continues. 
The escalation has helped extend gold's uptrend in the, in the last two months as traders take into account changing expectations regarding monetary policy. Traders have said that have been betting on an end to the interest rate height cycle and possible rate cuts in the first half of next year, which could continue to support gold's rise in the medium term. That's right. <clears throat> so when you take it all into account, think about where we are at now with all of these rate hikes that we've seen. And here today on December the 1st, gold has reached an all-time high again in this actual spot price. In the futures market, it's an even different story. On Friday, gold for February delivery climbed by $32.50 or 1.6% to settle at $2,089.70 an ounce on the COMEX. That's right, we're almost at $2,100 gold in the futures market. Prices based off the most active contracts settled at an all-time high, surpassing August 6, 2020 record high finish of $2,069.40 according to Dow Jones market data. And prices <clears throat> traded as high as $2,095.70 on the futures market in intraday basis on Friday, surpassing the previous record of intraday high of $2,089.20 an ounce from August 7th of 2020. So gold broke highs in both the spot price and in the futures market. Folks, this is a historic day indeed, um, and we're going to see, the, we've seen a steady climb in these markets since November, since mid-November. And remember, and at the beginning of August, gold was down to about 1822. I know because I had a member of this community, Nick, who actually made a pretty big substantial purchase that day, and, and he is now riding high at well above a $5,000 profit on his purchase. Um, and it just goes to show you that people can do very well investing in precious metals if they time it right. But I don't like to look at gold as an investment. No, I do not. It is an inflation hedge. It is a protection. And most don't buy how uh, my uh, subscriber here, Nick, did uh, a whole tube of these coins, a whole tube of them at once. Most of us can't afford to do that. But when we buy slow and steady, uh, it will... Uh, preserve your wealth. In fact, I have a purchase coming in and I'm pretty sure when I look at the numbers that I probably will have bought that coin for very near spot price uh, when it arrives. Uh, that just goes to show you how quickly these markets are moving and how really gold is defying the Fed uh, at, at every level in every way from the what we're seeing, especially with the um, futures or especially with what they have been doing with raising interest rates to the tune of five percent um uh, you know the interest rates uh that's that's where we are at and gold is still holding its own and surpassing in fact some people think it's surpassing expectations whereas silver has not done that silver certainly is following in, in, in gold's coattails, but it's just that. Gold now at an all-time high today with a slight pullback as I record this video, but still nonetheless, this is reason to celebrate, folks. This is why we do it. No matter what the Fed does and what, what's going on around the world, all these other drivers and factors are indeed uh, supporting gold, pushing past, past that support. Gold's rally started after the release of the October Consumer Price Index, according to Edmund Moy, who is a senior IRA strategist for U.S. Money Reserve and former director of the United States Mint. And the U.S. cost of living was unchanged in October, but the market viewed that uh, reading as saying that the Fed has tamed inflation and has probably finished raising rates and will, in all probability, start reducing rates sooner and faster than previously predicted. Well, that was before uh, the Jerome Powell's prepared remarks today. But we know that indeed, that no matter what the Fed does, they're in between a, a, a hard place and another hard place, an even harder place. Uh, there's not much they can do at this point. If they raise rates, that's going to potentially send the economy into a tailspin. And things are teetering, I think, at this moment right now, in spite of even some of the data that have come out. And if they lower rates, well, you know what that if you know what that means. That's going to be more loosening, and that's going to potentially lead to uh, a revived inflationary period. 
um, sooner rather than later. And so they are uh, in a tough spot. And that tough spot is not uh, going to be changing anytime soon. Uh, we're going to just have to keep an eye on it. And uh, But nonetheless, one thing we know that uh, really there is nowhere, uh, there's no limitations or restrictions on gold. It is what it is. Uh, and its price could will reflect that in due course. Um, and lower Fed rates means lower Treasury yields as well, too, in the bond market. I did a video recently about the bond market. I hope you all will take the time to check that out. I may post a link to that at the end screen of this video. Uh, because that very well, uh, that definitely is in trouble right now. Um, and since treasuries are purchased in dollars, falling demand for treasuries means falling demand for the dollar, and which can boost the price for dollar-denominated gold, and that's what we're seeing. While gold's current rally is a bit overheated, both the Golden Cross and the proximity of an all-time high acting like a magnet for the price means that we'll likely see future gains in the very immediate term, according to Brian Lunden. And I, th I agree with that. You know, I, just a few days ago, I was thinking we may see gold pull back below $2,000 an ounce. I think this is bringing excitement to the gold market. And I think that uh, we could see a shift. And this is why I brought out the big guns for this video to show you here. A little eye candy for what gold is doing. Because you never know. Things can change in an instant. And that's what we're seeing in the gold market. Which means it's very difficult to predict. Which is why, even though I may speculate some on prices and what market activity and movements in the market and the sentiment of the market. Because like a very moody uh, child... That can happen with the markets as well, too. Uh, so don't take anything I say too too seriously. Take it into consideration, but realize that, you know, I can be wrong about these things as, as sentiment shifts, and it can shift very quickly. That's just a part of the nature of what's happening here. Uh, so what an amazing day this is, a, a day to celebrate if you hold gold. Um, if you have never bought gold and you're thinking about buying gold, do not lose heart. We may see some pullbacks, and there are options and ways to buy gold on the cheap, even with these high prices. So I've done several videos on how to buy a fractional gold, by the way, cheaply. Um, and so I hope you will check those videos out as well. So there you have it. There's your market report for today. Record highs for gold. Uh, an exciting and fascinating move today for gold. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to each and every one of you for taking the time to watch and to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>